Just remember, no matter how bad your day is, you could be stuck in a shed with me talking. Poor bloody dog. What a life. Hi guys, Todd here. Vlog time. Uh, right, uh, I don't know when the last time was that I did one of these. I think, uh, I'll, I'll not check, but I think it was a few weeks ago, actually. Uh, this is, <laughs> this is, this should be a, a, a quick one, because I've not actually got a lot here to show you. Um, little update on things that have been happening since the last vlog. Um, obviously, uh, today, um, today we, there were some reviews have gone up for the HAR. Uh, there was one that went up today, which has created a bit of interest but uh, so I'll delve down deep into that and we shall discuss this and, and how we deal with drama and um, and haters and things like that and that was that right um so what we've got here is we'll start you off with camcorder here we go still plugging away with Odin um, I will get round to doing a video on it. Listen, there's lots of videos out there for this anyway, but I will get one out. I, I can hand on heart say that for me, I, there's things from an aesthetics point of view, uh, the, the, the tastes that I have that I'm not a fan of in this device. Uh, but, you, you know, you can't fault this. Um, 21700 uh, DNA 75C and, and it's it's screwed together well. I've no issues with the door. It doesn't slide off like its big brother did. Uh, so, yes, if you have one, if you're thinking of grabbing one, then uh, I would say you are not going to go far wrong with this. It's a, it's a good bit of kit. It really, really is. Um, in other news, uh, this month I have gone a bit... Uh, I spoiled myself. I was 51 last week. It was my birthday. Um, and and fifty one. Oh, I've gone over the fifty now. It's it's that sucks. It really does. And time does move faster. Um, a lot faster. I've got to say, a week is now two days. It, it's just insane how it works. Or is it the other way around? Can't remember. Anyway, uh, so I thought I would treat myself to a little bit of vape gear that I. Ah, promised myself or, or, or said I would buy years ago. When I say years ago, back in 2017, uh, it was Vape Fest Shrewsbury in the UK. Um, and uh, CNC mods were there. Uh, Ruben was there. And he had with him a little squonker. And, um, and I, I absolutely loved it. I always meant to buy one. I went earlier on this year I went looking for one for second hand uh, but they were all just a little bit used as when I say used they, like, they weren't as clean as I would like because it was something I really really wanted so I contacted Ruben at CNC and um, and asked him if he had any old bodies or shells lying about or any and he said he did so he made me one from new and uh, and and it turned up last week and um, and here we go. That's not what you want to see. That's what you want to see. Uh, it's a thirty-one grammy or thirty-one or thirty-one gram. Um, this is and and you know specs wise, I couldn't even tell you. I'm pretty. It might be a, an aluminium body, um, but it's it's got a little MOSFET. I mean, there's your firing button there, and this this is tiny. I mean, it really is tiny. Hang on, I'll find a, a, a battery. There we go. There's an 18650 battery next to it. Give you an idea of the size. Uh, and even with, the, you can see there right now, I've got, the, um, this is the, the Skyfall, obviously. Um, I mean, that's a, a 22 mil Atty on it. And, it. and it just fits and no more. Um, but it is, it's just obviously by this going on things today, it may not be for everybody. Uh, there's one thing that I should have done. I should have gone and watched reviews. Uh, I should have checked more things out because it's one of these ones that I've just realized that it would work. It, 
it's almost like it's a left-handed squonker. Uh, so you've got the firing button there, squonk window here, and squonk window on the other side as well. Now, I like to fire it holding my thumb, so thumb firing there. Now, obviously you can see the squonk window is directly below the firing button. So to squonk it, I kind of have to move my hand like that and squonk. If I do it in my left hand, then it's, it's much easier. I can do one fluid action to squonk. But right-handed, um, unless I use my finger like that, then it, it doesn't really... It, so I wish the button... Yes, I really love it. I'm glad I bought it. Because um, it's just... Do you know what it's like when you've... If you've been vaping for quite some time and you see something and you think, I've got to get one of them, and it just passes you by... Uh, so finally catching up with it is uh, I'm really glad I bought it. Really glad I bought it. It's uh, it's it's a sexy Italian mods are nearly always sexy looking. Um, they may not always be the most reliable, uh, but they're always sexy looking. Um, I'm not saying this isn't reliable, by the way. It's just a a general stereotype for some Italian mods. I'll shut up now. I'm digging a big hole for myself. I've just pissed off an entire country. Oh, no. I'll edit that bit out. <sighs> Hope I remember to edit that bit out. Um, other things that uh, I have been tootling away with. Um, so, the if you remember this, Method Mods, uh, this Mech Mod came in. I think, did, have I done a video since then? can't remember uh, so this this came in um and there will be a review for this uh it's a 21700 mechanical mod and uh, the problem i had was that uh, i didn't have anything that looked good on it you know i needed a 24 millimeter rda now what i ended up doing was uh i went along to custom vapes in the uk and i picked up a kennedy so I've got a Cerakoted and brass bodied Kennedy uh, because I've used it before and uh, and it looks absolutely gorgeous on this mech. Now the strange thing was, was that I went and paid £80 just to get an Atty that would look good on this mod. And the day after I ordered the Kennedy, this arrived for review. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was sick as a dog. Um, I could have saved myself some pennies. Um, but that is the Druga V2, which I will be reviewing this week. Uh, there's already reviews out there for it. You've probably seen them, if you're at all interested. It is, in a lot of respects, very similar to the V1. Uh, I really like this. I really like this RD for a... You can go full on cloudy with this, but uh, you can also take it down to a. Oh, okay, hang on, that's still very cloudy. Uh, no, this is almost as restricted as it gets. I'm sure I got a kind of like a a very loose restricted direct lung with it, but. Uh, yes, it's it's perhaps more cloudy than I would normally vape, but um, it's the silver one's really nice as well. The stainless steel one looks awesome. Uh, once again, for somebody that's not a, a cloud chaser, high wattage vapor, or anything like that, uh, I am finding the flavor and everything to be really, really good on this, uh, and thoroughly enjoying it. Uh, so so there we go, there's that. And I'm just waiting on an updated part for the Method Mod. Um, he actually sent me on a, a prototype base for it that has a couple of issues. Um, so he's actually scratched that prototype base. Uh, he's gone back to the original one. He's sending me that on and I'll review that because that's what he's actually selling. Um, but that's from Spain and he's been really, really great to deal with, um, which is always good. And, and, and I've said this before uh, and about reviews. If I get something from a modder and 
there is an issue with it. Um, I always contact them first. I know a lot of people go, well, no, you should review, review it as you get it. Um, if it's a mainstream product, as in mass produced, and there's thousands and thousands of them out there, and there's issues, then yeah, I probably would go ahead with the review. But when it's from small modders, then I nearly always contact them first and find out what's going on. Um, it's kind of different. You might not think so, but I do. It's just it's just the way I operate. Um, other stuff that's been going on. Uh, I have been vapor. I don't do juice. I don't do juice reviews. I never have, uh, or I not for seven years since I did juice reviews. Um, Marco from Visionary Mods. Um, he's actually brought out his own juice line, and that's them there. And a lot of them are custard based, and. Um, they're all nice and uh, they're actually nice uh, but the, the one that my favorite one out of all of them and the one that i would go back to and actually buy myself um even though i got free shit it was free uh is the the <laughs> is the one that i would have said i would have disliked the most and it's uh it's this one which is really strange uh, it's a custard tobacco. Um, now I know um, Vapor Bay UK are selling it, and Steam Island are selling this range in the UK. Um, but this is for me. It's like one of the nicest custards I've tasted, with a tiny, tiny hint of tobacco at the back end. But it's such a nice custard that I ab absolutely love this juice. Love this juice. Um, I, I, I would never say go and buy a juice because it's so subjective it's so subjective but if you do like custards it's, it's worth a punt it's worth a punt um, and um, yes there we go uh, other things that I can show you what else can I show you oh I can show you this now wait a minute I meant to actually pull this up before I started this video. Uh, velvet, vel, velvet vape, velvet vape, is it? I probably oh, it's velvet vape. Right here we go. Found it. Um, you know, like Bob, ah, there we go. Right, these these doodads. Uh, screen share. So it, they sent these on. Um, now. At Mizzou, remember the, the snail, the vape snail? Uh, remember it had a, a little little cotton pad kind of thing like this? Well, they've taken that kind of idea and they've put it across into these things for the bottom of your borrow tank. So you've got reducers, you've got air reducers for the bottom of your borrow tank, but it's also got those little pads in so it can soak up any condensation. Uh, but they do... Uh, Restricted di a direct lung one and a, a mouth to lung version. I'm trying to find the. Hang on, let's have a gander here. So there we go. Uh, ba -ba -ba, we've got 2mm, 2.53, and 3.5mm ear holes, if you like. And there is a mouth to lung one. Pull that up. And the sizes for that. Are uh, there we go, one mil, one point two, one point five, and one point eight. So that's uh, velvet vape, and I think there's a few resellers in the the UK. Uh, I'll just give you a, a quick a quick looky. Here we go. Can you see here? You've got your your little reducer, so you get a, a pack of them, and they just slide in there. So you can actually reduce the amount of air that's coming into the, the side of your bottle tank. Um, if I remember right, yes, Velvet Vape. Um, remember because, is this back to front? No, it's not back to front. This is the right way. So there you go. Remember you've got the, the air is going to be coming in there from the corner of your billet box. And, um, and this is going to soak up any condensation. 
It's quite smart that they've taken that idea across. Um, but obviously I don't get any condensation in my uh, billet box because uh, we all know that billet boxes don't actually get any condensation or leak. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've just offended every billet box user under the sun. <laughs> Uh, I will actually while we're here um, there's just things popping into my head here um, where are we uh, and yes there we go now obviously uh, those of you that know me you know that my here she blows my Delro um, always have my Delro on the go sits on the shelf there gets used near every single day because it's I really really like it a lot uh, but I just um, in the um, where's check the photos out I've seen some really really um, he's coming out with different versions or not different versions but he's I, I'm seeing a lot of customised Delros out there um, yeah, things like that um uh, where's the other ones? I saw some really, really smart ones, and I can't find the pictures now. Obviously, you get the... I don't know what they call them. Is it ice? Is it an ice version? Um, totally clear. You can see the battery there. Uh, where's the other ones that I saw? Oh, this is really, really, really nice. Um, look at that. He's, he's taking... Uh, it's the one thing that... When I got my Delro, I mean, I've had my, my, my Delro for well over a year now. Um, and it's the one thing when I got it, I thought, you know, it's just a, it's just a, a black box. It's never going to be a looker. Uh, I always thought of it as, a, you know, it's going to be one of these mods that you just, yeah, you just vape with it and just accept how it looks and it was comfortable and it suited me as an all-day vape type thing. But now I'm seeing more and more customised ones coming out and quite smart it, it, it's nice to see how he's taking it taking it up a notch kind of like with the billet boxes you know uh, but um, yes obviously there's still a, a pain in the back end uh, a pain to get a hold of and uh, yes they're not the cheapest on the planet they're not the cheapest mods on the planet but they are still yeah I still love mine still love it yes um, so uh, other things, what have I got here? Kennedy, duh, duh, I need a vape. Um, bit of shameless promotion there. Uh, uh, so, so, yes, I'm, I'm vaping on the har. Obviously, I'm vaping it on a bit of Chinese, Chinese, you know, Chinese and Chinese going together because these things matter. Um, so, there's not much else I can tell you apart from I wanted to actually cover something. Um, I have done on my own channel. Um, in the past week and a half, week and a half, uh, I reviewed the college DNA sixty by Duffpo and Dear Dear. Is it Dear Dear? I found that strange. In the box, it said Dear Vape, and then it said Dear Dear somewhere else. Um, I still feel. I, I mean, I was I was completely upfront. I mean, the mod itself, there was nothing wrong with the mod as such. But um, from a ergonomic point of view, and and just the the way it felt and everything, it wasn't for me. Uh, it wasn't for me. Um, and the and the boy, uh, dear dear or whatnot, did comment and and said, I don't know if he was being Scottish sarcastic, when say we'd make something nicer next time. I think he was taking the piss, um, and quite right, as you should. Um, it's always a it's it's always a strange one when you when you you know there's nothing wrong with the device, but you just don't like the look of it. Kind of feel bad about it. So that's why I was a bit apologetic in that video um but the other i just know i've done the origin aio the winax stylus by geek vape and the scepter mouth along pod mod by innikin that's 
the most pod reviews I've done back to back almost ever, I think. It's just the way it worked out with what was coming in. And I did get a few comments from people saying, oh my God, not another pod review. I wish they'd do away with them, blah, blah, blah. Um, I kind of feel differently myself uh, on that one. I understand people getting sick of pod reviews and pods being released. Um, I do in my heart kind of feel the same thing. They hold no interest for me. But that I've been vaping for over eight years. Um, I don't. I worked in a vape shop for three years. Um, I don't anymore. I am uh, removed from new vapors or people that smoke looking to switch. Uh, and I kind of, I'm a hobbyist, and and I think it's I'm, I'm guilty of forgetting about the fact that there are still people out there that are looking for devices like that so when you know you do a review for a, a pod it's very easy to be kind of flippant and negative about it but i think it's important that that you have to remember that you know if it's just one person is watching your video review in a pod and it helps them change over and stop smoking then success nobody may be watching the videos i mean hardly anybody watches these pod reviews um but it just takes one person to watch it and you've accomplished something, um, which I think is really important. We shouldn't forget that there's still people looking to change over. Um, and I apologise for... Do I apo yes, I do. I apologise to if you... If you do follow or watch my videos and you, you watch a video to support the channel or whatnot, and, and thank you for that. Um, I apologise that for you it may be very, very boring if I start talking about priming coils and PG and VG ratios and, and you know, just the taste and all that kind of, it's boring for you, but for somebody that doesn't vape, it's these little nuggets of information that make all the difference. You just have to think back to where you were trying to swap over. And that's the big, that's another huge thing. These devices i mean if you go back and think about like a a, fi a reva 510 battery and a cartomizer um when you're putting like three drops of liquid in at a time how shit they were <laughs> they really were they were terrible compared to what newbies have now um it, it's night and day god i wish that stuff had well no nah. Yes, I do wish that stuff had been out back then, but I was one of the lucky ones. I managed to just pick up an e-cig and stop smoking as soon as I picked up an e-cig. I stopped right rear and rear, raggy, there and then. Sorry, I need to take my teeth out. Um, so there we go. Uh, that that's that. All that done. Uh, things that are coming along. Uh, there is um, where it is. It's coming, it's coming back to me. And there we go. Christ, I'd almost forgotten the name of Herbie's group there. That, that, that's not good. Um, photos, photos, photos. Young Herbie, uh, who has been a lot around a very, very long time. Um, he reached out and I'm pretty sure that uh, I got to choose a block and um, one of these, or, or a mod like this, shall be coming my way from Herbie before long, which is a rather tasty looking side by side. Um, no, that's not one. I love this button. I absolutely adore this button. It's just one big chunky mother. Yes, that really appeals to me. Um, and I do like, yeah, it's kind of crap. That's, uh, there you go, you can see the name of the group there. Infinium. Um, that's what you're looking for if if that catches your eye and you're interested. Um, there's a couple of RDAs on their way. Uh, and that's about it. It's very quiet. Very quiet. Um, on the, the old reviewing front. 
Um, so, I'll just go with the flow. If stuff turns up, I'll review it. If it doesn't, then uh, I shall continue just perfecting the art of dyeing my hair a colour that actually looks normal. Anyway, um, other stuff that's been going on. Yeah, the Hall of Vape. Hall of Vape. Uh, Ira put out his announcement. That's it cancelled for this year. Um, I feel for Ira. I really do. The Ira and the whole team at the Hall of Vape uh, are just uh, are hard working individuals. They put their life and soul into the Hall of Vape. As I'm sure other events do. It's just I have a certain affection for the Hall of Vape because of the Modders Gallery. Um, it sucks, but just 2020 just sucks for everybody. Full stop. And, uh, and one can but hope that next year uh, things shall get back to some kind of normality. Uh, I'm not going to predict anything. I'm not going to make out that I know things because I don't. Uh, nobody does. We'll just wait and see and, and hope for the best. That's that's about all we can do in that one. Um, I really, really do hope we have something next year because I miss the crack and the banter and the meeting people and abusing other people and getting drunk and just, yeah, that's everything. Uh, I, I really miss the social aspect of the vape meets a, a, a great deal. Um... Yes, other stuff that uh, we, we you may be interested in. Uh, something here. What is that? Yes, charity raffle. Um, why am I doing X X Factor? Um, uh, um, young Rob from Steam Island is sending on a. Uh, Stab wood, I think he's in there on a stab wood limelight mechanics wicket. Um, I am going to pair that with um, an Integra, a Vapeware Mods Integra. Uh, so that will be a pairing. I'm also, I'm also this month, I'm going to do a, a doubler, a doubler. Um, I think we'll have two winners this month rather than just one. I don't do this very often. So you've got an Integra and a Wicket as a pairing. Uh, and I am finally going to get my finger out and give this away. A Daiko's Danny 32.5 32 uh, that was given to me so that I could raffle it off. Uh, it's still as new. It's mint. Uh, so I've got that. And with that, I'm going to put on a, a Vapor Giant, 325 mil Vapor Giant. So that'll be a pairing as well. Um, now, this one is, normally I always do, my charity raffles are always done through Just Giving um, because I want nothing to do with the money. If when you donate or purchase a raffle ticket, the money goes direct to the charity. Now this month I'm we have four charities that we use we're using this year and normally the money only goes to one of those four charities. <clears throat> Rob uh, from Steam Island has he's done a lot for the charity raffles over over the past couple of years he's done a hell of a lot so he asked if uh, i could do a charity raffle and the funds go to a dog rescue center in bulgaria um they do not have a just giving page so it means that i'm going to have to have the money sent to me for tickets and then i'll send the whole lump sum onto the the charity themselves i i don't like doing that but unfortunately for this charity, I have to do it this way. Uh, but I will keep you, you'll see the totals, you'll see transfers and everything. I'll keep everything transparent as, as I possibly can. Uh, but I will get that up with uh, possibly Wednesday, that will go up. Um, so so yeah, that's that's gonna be uh, good prizes, good prizes. And, and this year, just I'll say this now, it's July. Thank you so, so much for the charities. 
I mean, there's thousands of pounds have been raised for charities because of you. Um, so thank you very, very much. I forget where we are. We're about £15,000 for the year, uh, which is an insane amount of money. And um, and it's come from you, a bunch of hairy arsed vapours. That was about rude, wasn't it? Anyway, have another vape. I'll have a cloudy vape. Why, 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 why? Never fires in my left hand. I don't know why that is. Fires in my right hand, no problem. Clouds, bro. Uh, I think what we shall do before, because obviously this is just in case Ali, Auntie Ali, hello Auntie Ali, is watching this, we're going to do a little bit of justice for TJ. <laughs> Look at his ear. His other ear is on top of his head. Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> You absolute pudding. <laughs> yes, it's here. It's on this side. It's here. Show your ear. Look at your ear. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, my my beautiful assistant is um, is soaking wet. Aren't you, pal? Well, you might want a, a, a full one. Here we go. Yeah, Tweety. There you go. Right. That's it. Dog fed. My work here is done. Ah, get back. Um, right. What else? That literally is it. I, I can't see anything else. Um, anything else I should mention? No. Uh, got an album. New album. New bit of vinyl. It's always a good day in the shed when there's a new bit of vinyl. Uh, not but if, you're, if you're outside the UK, this band will probably mean nothing to you. Uh, Hipsway, Hipsway, Scottish band from back in the, is it early 90s? I think it'd be early 90s. Honey Thief? No, 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 that's just gone over so many heads. Uh, but that was a present from my mum and dad. Uh, actually, and here's a strange one. Here's, um, actually, where is it? Here we go. Look at this. Uh, so obviously I've got a thing for, for the, for my, for my phoenix, it's my, it's my, uh, there you go, see, I, I love my phoenix, it used to be, it was my logo for a long time, Todd Reviews, look, phoenix and all that, I've got, uh, I got a phoenix up there, and it's just, there was a point in my life where it was, yes, so my mum and dad, um, they, got, they got me this, um, so that'll be going up the wall, thank you very much mum and dad, uh, but the strange thing is, it, it's just like the, um, or very similar to, where are we? Uh, I'm sure there's, where's it gone? I'm trying to find a big picture. I can't find a big picture, well, it's always the same. Uh, no, I don't want thirty percent off. I just want to see. Ah, right there we go. There, look, see it? It's fit. No, oh, well there you go, folks. Thirty percent off all E Phoenix products. Um, it's 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 very similar to the E Phoenix logo. Is it? No, it's not actually. Now that I look at it in greater detail, do you know what? I'm such a blethering idiot. It reminded me of it. It did remind me of it, but now that I look at it, it's not. It's actually quite different. Um, anyway, that's that. I'm going to go because I've nothing else vaping related, and um, and you, if you're still here, you're going to be very disappointed because I've not discussed drama or any bullshit like that. And uh, that's it. Next review shall be for the Druga V2, and uh, until then, I'll find the stop button, and I shall say bye for now.